All right, guys, I'm back again, working on something new. This project is actually for my mother. So as you can see, I've actually done a few things a little different. Um, I now have, this was a suggestion from TikTok, since I got the one gallon kit, I separated it down into smaller bottles, squirt bottles that I can use for easily dispensing these things. Let's see. Trying to see, because I want to try to get about 80, maybe 60 mils out of this one. Although, honestly, it takes a little longer for it to pour out because I gotta squeeze the bottle. I've only got 10 mils so far. I think my next purchase will be a power, will be a mixer for these things. Mm -hmm. This also actually prevents me from putting too much in here, too. That's part A down. Now to add part B. Part B, although, helps if I screw the lid on. I have noticed that part B tends to be a bit thinner than part A, so it should pour a little quicker. Let me get my, let me get my stirring stick. Because I'm gonna try and fix the uh, wolf here. But anyway, let me get back to it. Is he pawing at you over there? Mm -hmm. Yes, put him in my chair. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a matter of mixing these things. Let's hope I can get a good job because I don't want to screw it up again. Not after last time. On oh, the acorn on the tables for a later project. Oh shoot! Light went off. I guess the uh, LED light wasn't uh, powerful enough to stay on for this long. <laughs> I, I appreciate it, babe. I think it's got a time. Maybe have a timer. Yeah, it had a timer on it. Sorry, I'm spending more time mixing than I usually do, just in case that was the issue last time. Right, that means there's a ton of bubbles in here, but... Let me set this in here for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be working on with this card today. You guys can't tell this is a DNA? 
This was released in the Kalos region, and again, this is a project for my mom, because I haven't done a coaster for her yet. Let's see, I should only need maybe about... Fifteen mils to do this part. I think. So I'll be mixing that in just a moment. That has so much. I've actually I have not used the plum yet, obviously, since I'm having to break the seal on this sucker oh. and that's the uh that's the plum color for you guys what what a floof boy do what's he doing simba what are you doing sir You need something to co clean up? I'm fine. Bye, guys. Yep, that's Harper in the background, guys. So I'm going to need... Where's my little scooper? There it is. See, this is what I use for my... Um, to get my powders out of their containers. I'd be super saturated this time around. Purple is my mother's favorite color. So that's why I'm using the plum today. Plus she loves things that are sparkly and shiny and pretty. So what better color for my mom than purple? The plum, in fact. And again, I'm using royalty-free music in the background, guys, so hopefully I don't have another incident where YouTube says, oh, this, uh, this is copyrighted material. No, it's not. So next, I need to grab a pipette, which I have a ton of them down here, because this is actually the easiest way I've learned to do this part. Yes, I go through a lot of pipettes this way, but it's fine. Move this out of the way. I will place this here, a little more center. Oops. Just kind of set that in there, let it soak up on its own. Yeah, center this a little better for you guys. kind of realize I'm off to the side here. Damn it, not again. Sorry, I gotta get a better lighting system here. But for now it works. Guess what? You know you're gonna get off of that eventually. Sorry, this is taking a while for me to do, but this is this is what I like to do, guys. I like to work in sections, and if you can see my, I, you know, you can't see my face right now, but. So I'll be doing this one as a two-parter, or a multi-parter, like I did last time. I like, actually like doing these coasters, and I usually use uh, cards that, as I've said before, are, um, well, different. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Hmm. 
Where is the spoon? There it is. just to kind of change things up a little bit. Oops, oh well, a little extra splash there. What I can also do is, well, I'll leave it. Yeah, shoot, oh well, I can fix it later. <sighs> Nothing's ever perfect when you do these projects, guys. Probably should change the angle a bit on my camera setup, but so you guys are wondering why I now have a different setup for my camera, aka my phone. I went out and got a Pro Vlogger setup uh, from Walmart uh, yesterday, which will allow me to do a little better job of getting these images for you. So yes, this, this does take a little while for me to do. I could just pour it in, but I'm trying to reduce air bubbles. Let me go grab something real quick. I like to change up things and experiment a bit with these coasters so I get an idea of different things I can do with my pieces. So I think it's about here. I should be okay with those little streaks there. And this is the reason why my pants wind up sparkly. I have a specific pair of pants I use only for doing resin work here. Ah, there went the light again. I will get it, babe, you're fine. I do appreciate it though. And sorry about the audio quality too, guys. It's just I'm using my phone audio only. I have yet to actually attach my uh, the, the microphone that comes with it. This video, is, this video is gonna be a little bit longer than my last set, or the first one I ever did. going up. Just go ahead and pour slowly. I'm doing this for two reasons. One, to try to uh, clear out the uh, wolf head of the mess up from last time around. and also to kind of make something new. Try 
trying to take my time with this one because I want it to get as much into the various nooks and crannies of that wolf head as possible. And of course, any excess resin I will be putting into something else. This acorn is no longer green anymore. It's starting to turn brown. Although it has been off the tree for a while, so it makes sense. Okay, I'll let you know, babe. Oops, I don't know. See, so yeah, I usually wait at least an hour between pieces, uh, between layers, so that I can make sure that everything works out just fine and looks good. I probably could have done with more of the uh, powder in this to create something different. But, you know, decided not to. I was just gonna keep going with what I got. There's the camera light again. Looks like that is, that should be good there. Yeah, it's starting to get high up on the walls, so let's just set that there for now. Let's get back to filling the wolf head with just the pure clear. Mm-hmm. 
Here, my watch is taking a minute to uh, catch up to everything else here. So, before you ask, yes, I do use a uh, lighter to try to get as many bubbles as I can off my pieces. This is kind of a lighter that we've designated only for my resin work because how many times I've accidentally touched it into my resin. Before I do anything else. I'll come back in a little bit and redo that. But I like to do some things a little different. Yeah, it's gonna be my, one of my longest resin videos so far. And if I was a good editor, I'd figure out how to do that part, but it's not really my forte. I mean, I could just pour the other bit right in on top of this one, but I'm like, I'm trying to create something a little different. And we'll see what happens with these. There is a hair stuck on the side. That no wonder it's looking so weird. There, that's fine. Oh, damn it. There's a hair that got into it. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and see what happens. How it results in the end will be different. So I can just sit down here on my knees. So I'm gonna set this over here so it's out of the way and not gonna get too much stuff on it. Probably should have done another 10 or so mils of the clear, but it's fine. Again, this is all about experimentation anyway.
the amount of resin I have left should be enough to get it to where I need it to be. Pop that bubble. Hey, at least the camera work is a little better this time. It's more stable than the last videos I did. Hmm, looks like the drops are looking interesting. Again, we'll see how this all turns out in the end. my toes yeah it's looking like this is actually going to fill it up completely so again I like to experiment with my pieces and see what I can come up with in the end and we'll see how this actually turns out I'm not just going to pour this straight in there because I don't know how it will look yet um, there goes the light again Not the best lighting setup, honestly. Um, but I don't think it's designed to go for this many, for such lo a long period of time. First time using this rig, so 
Hopefully you guys can forgive me for the constant light failures. Should at least add a really cool effect or all the pigments gonna sink to the bottom and have a plum nosed upper but we'll have to wait and see It looks like that is actually filled up as best as it can go, so. The rest, will wind up going into here. Into a bunch of small ones, of course. Yeah, sorry about the length of the video, guys. I know 30-minute videos for resin projects really aren't kind of common. But this is the whole process from start to, to end. The first time I did a video, it was actually just the process from mixing the pigment together. I'll torch these again in a little bit. Trying to get as much as I can. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get as much of this resin out of this thing, out of this pipette as possible. <sighs> there went the light again. Oh, there's enough light here, it should be fine. Again, I apologize about the lighting issues I'm having. It ain't a perfect system by any means. I 
until I get a whole editing th system going. For now, I'm just gonna, you know, do the best I can with what I got here. I'll be doing these videos in parts. They won't be edited or anything. I don't, I actually kind of like the raw footage thing for videos. It's just my way of doing things. Every YouTuber has their own way of doing things. I could have filled up one of the bigger ones, but hmm. that should be okay. That's really domed over, though. There, that's a little better. No matter what I do, there's still gonna be resin in these pipettes. It's just part of the nature of working with a pipette. That wolf may actually turn out to be pretty interesting. All right, that's gonna be enough. I'm not gonna worry about that little bit of resin that's left in there now. All right, guys, I will do one last flame off to double check that everything is going according to plan. Well, as according to plan as it ever goes. Heat gun probably better, but I like doing it this way. Anyway, I will probably be back in about an hour so I can do the next layer of the card piece here. So in the meantime, let me scoot things over so you guys can see better. And until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye.